I think the thing about the Thomas fire that sticks out so much is again how quickly it moved. We had significantly high winds and evacuations became the operational priority. It was, at the time, the largest brush fire in Southern California history and what many of us called a career fire. Our call volume the first day of the fire was about eight times what it usually is. It looked like lava was going across the ground. It was just a little bit surreal to see everything around you on fire. You really don't know what you're going to get called to. You wait and you prepare. And you know that your life depends on it. Firefighting is much more than firefighting. We have an ocean rescue team, we have swift water teams, confined space rescue and trench rescue, a building collapse, we've gone to several earthquakes and hurricanes. People probably only call 911 once in their life. When I show up on that call, that's their one interaction with the fire department and I need to have some type of solution to their problem. We receive a lot of unknowns and we need to make sure that we're prepared for that unknown. So we're training constantly, every single shift, every single day, we're training. We were looking for a record system when we purchased Cornerstone and we realized that it actually matches the fire service really well. We have about 400 first responders out there in the field and 33 fire stations. We introduce them in the academy when they come in the door. We give them an iPad ready to go with Cornerstone. So they start using it and logging their training right away. As a fire captain, I have an engineer and a firefighter assigned to me, and it's my job as their supervisor to make sure that they're safe, to make sure that they have the tools that they need, that they're having fun, and that they feel enriched. I am on the Cornerstone system every day. Prior to Cornerstone, you might have to go into a book and try to figure out what your next step is. We actually run all the reports and we build a custom dashboard that shows all of the training items that we are currently tracking. You have a very nice visual of completion, so you know exactly how much you've done and how much you have left. When firefighters are on probation, we have them make seven micro-learning videos. Firefighters are really competitive, so they compete together, they, they work together, they work in teams, they get their crews involved, and they're making videos that have never existed in the history of our fire department. We've had Cornerstone about five years. It's really the tool that's going to help our organization build a better and more successful employee. I feel really lucky. It's an honor to serve as a firefighter. It's an even greater honor to serve the community that you grew up in. We're leaders in our community and we take that very seriously. The reason I wanted to become a firefighter was because of the Ventura County Fire Department. This is home to me and to be able to work where I live and where I grew up, it's the coolest thing in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President of Client Success, Patrick Eichen. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind. Welcome to the 2019 Rave Awards! As you guys just saw, we had just another amazing story from our last year's winner, Ventura County Fire Department, and really, this is what these awards are all about. Um, we're always impressed with all of our customers and what they're able to do with, with our solution. And uh, you've heard from a number of clients uh, today in the keynote, you heard today in the breakout sessions, and, and really for us, it is all about the power of potential, and you're here to hear some, some really great stories uh, today. Um, and really, that's what the Rave Award's all about. We like to recognize a handful of clients that are taking it to the next level, making sure that you can see all of the things you can do uh, with our solution, and, and really where clients are having a significant positive impact on their business. Um, you know, I've been doing this now for a few years, and every single year we see more and more clients uh, applying for Rave Awards, and I've got to tell you, all of the submissions are just very impressive. Uh, if any of you are inspired by what you heard today or hear, you know, thinking about your own story, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, and again, you know, very, very excited to share uh, some, some great stories with you today. 
So the, so the, the clients that submitted uh, and that you're going to hear about today, they all have several things in common. They're either driving user adoption, they're expanding the use of Cornerstone in their business globally, um, they're focusing on really trying to provide just an amazing end user experience, and the thing that they're also doing is they're continuing to optimize and continuing to grow. So as in years past, we're going to award customers in five categories today. Uh, those are learning strategy innovation, impact on user adoption, visionary and performance management, transformational HR and talent strategy, and advancement in reinventing work. So just for some next steps, I'm going to introduce each of those categories in detail, and I'm going to say a few words about the winning organization. And then I'd like the winning organization to come join me on stage, uh, say a few words, and we're also going to take a photo together. OK? And with that, our first category today is learning strategy innovation. So really, the purpose of this word is to uh, recognize innovation in, in learning and in program development within organizations. And these are organizations who are you know, transforming their business from you know, the typical corporate learning landscape to really thinking more about the end user experience and, and how to drive uh, just, just a better overall experience end to end for their uh, customers. So we have three finalists in this category, Kaleida Health, Kohler Company, and Maui Gym. So the winning client in this category, they're faced with something that I think many of you are trying to solve for today. They have a global workforce that more and more is moving away from the traditional laptop and moving to an all-mobile environment. And so when you think about that, they no longer are carrying laptops into the field, and it makes training inaccessible. And really, for people that are on the go all the time, it makes it very difficult to stay up to date with compliance training. Uh, and, and, and development opportunities, and really all of the job tools for this organization, really they had no way to report on it. And so they went through a transformation and decided we're going to move to a mobile-first strategy. And they did that using the Cornerstone Learn app. So in order to do this effectively, the first thing they had to do is go back through their entire learning catalog, make sure all of the courses could be supported by uh, a mobile-first strategy. Uh, they actually had to uh, go and get buy-in from other uh, people in the organization, such as sales leadership and others. And ultimately, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they really saw some fantastic results, which you know, they're going to share with you today. Uh, first off, they've been able to move over 80% of their learning uh, to micro-learning strategies. So again, you know, not only just embracing mobile, but also being able to do it in bite-sized chunks that people uh, can learn on the go with. Um, they've really seen a complete shift in their culture. This is really moving from more of a, a push environment uh, of training to seeing people pull that training and wanting to do more. And, and now in an, or, in an organization where it took you know, upwards of you know, however long, a week or more for people to, to take training, they often see people immediately engaging uh, and, and completing training in, in 24 hours often. And the most important thing for them is it's actually created great collaboration within the organization. It's not just about L&D. It's about how do we partner with marketing? How do we partner with sales? Uh, and, and for us, it's just a tremendous story of, of not only learning, but also partnership internally. And with that, I'd like to welcome up the winner, Maui Jim. Congratulations. We're going to step up here and take a photo. Pictures right here. See, camera right there. All right. Say a few words. Wow, thank you so much, Cornerstone. We are really, really honored to be recognized even as a finalist, and to win this award is, just means a lot to us. Um, thanks to Elise and Ashley for their tireless work. They were very dedicated to testing and implementing the mobile app, um, making sure that it works, providing support, and those of you who attended their session today learned a lot about our process. Um, big thanks to Lee, our client success manager, who has now moved on forward. And so now we have Tracy who will be supporting us. And thanks to her as well for being our cheerleader. Um, we're just really excited to share our story. And if you guys have any questions or you'd like to learn how we did it, um, we'd be so happy to talk to you. You can find us on the conference app or on LinkedIn. And we'd love to connect. Um, yeah, thank you. All right. Congratulations. OK, now on to our next category. Impact on user adoption. This is a great story. Uh, so the purpose of this award is really to recognize companies that are uh, investing in the overall user experience in Cornerstone, but also these are customers that are really trying to drive adoption globally. 
And again, these, you know, if, if you've done this before, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of change management that you have to plan for. And again, it's, it's really you know, organizations that are investing heavily in engagement and listening uh, to, the, to their constituents and, and doing great things with, with the overall look and feel of the application. So again, we have three finalists in this category, Banco Bradesco, Colonial Life and Insurance, and the Research Triangle Institute. So the winning client in this category, again, when you talk about scale, this is a client that has, they're not just one company, they're actually 20 distinct holding companies that support over 100,000 users uh, globally. So, so very, very large organization. And this is a company that before working with Cornerstone, they had seven distinct platforms, all with a different interface, all with a different look and feel. So if you think about that user experience, um, definitely something that uh, was a bit uh, uh, kludgy and difficult for, for end users to really, to really use. So they made a commitment to, to really their overall user experience and really looking at how do users uh, work with the solution end to end. They also were committed to making sure that development and internal career, mo career mobility was made easier. Uh, for their organization. The thing that's most impressive about this is you know, everybody here knows it's not just about the software, it's about the process and it's about what you do end to end. So this is a client that not only implemented a full ITM solution, learning, performance, succession, you name it, uh, but also did all that change management all in under 12 months. So how do you do that? How are you successful when you do that? First of all, it's all about engagement. It's making sure that you can map the employee journey end to end. Uh, and again, it's about engaging your, your constituents and your end users. So they held lots of workshops. They engaged the entire HR organization. They also made sure that uh, their end users had an opportunity to, be, to play a part in the, in the adoption. They helped name their solution. And again, they saw great results. So, so when you hear some of these numbers, they're pretty staggering. So in 60 days of launching, they had over 4.2 million, that's million with an M, page views, and averaged over 7,000 daily logins into the solution. Um, in 90 days, they had 87% of their entire global population logged in and using the system. They also saw over a 54% increase in people going in and updating their career, uh, their resume through the career profile. So again, when you talk about internal talent mobility, um, just immediate uh, uptick in, in, in what they were able to do. They were also able to reduce their performance cycle time. So they were able to reduce their end-to-end -end performance review process by 30% in terms of time. And when you talk about user engagement and adoption, that's the name of the game. You always have to make sure that your, your employees and your end users have a voice. So they implemented social feedback along with this. Uh, within uh, the first few months of launching, they had over 11,000 comments in using social feedback, lots of, lots of feedback from their end users, lots of uh, recognition internally as well. So again, I'd just like to recognize the winner of this award, Banco Bradesco. I'm a bit nervous here, so English is not my first language. Uh, then I will read a few words I've prepared, okay? Uh, it's pretty hard speaking another language, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's do it. Uh, Cornstone is helping us to realize our HR strategy in Bradesco, and this award is a great recognition for, uh, for us, for our company. Uh, the change management process has been one of the key points during the implementation of Cornerstone in our company. And we worked a lot to engage more than 100,000 employees in the new platform. And today you are getting great engagement and very good feedback about user experience from our employees who visit Cornerstone daily, looking for a training, looking for internal jobs posi job positions, or to manage their goals. Last Friday, for example, more than about 30% of our staff accessed the Cornerstone in a single day due to a campaign. So it's an awesome number. Wow. There are many people to thank the success of this implementation, such Cornerstone Brazil, Pilas is here, uh, our CSM, Sara Silva, the implementation partner, Maestra, and all Bradesco staff involved, our executive board, our HR director, 
the project team and the HR communication and the HR project management team. So, thank you very much. Great job. Yeah. All right, on to our next category. Visionary and performance management. So this award is really to recognize organizations that are really doing a, a great job in, in infusing performance management into their culture. Um, these are clients that have asked themselves the tough questions and have really thought about what do they need to do to focus on balancing the needs of leaders, but also creating an experience for their employees that's optimal, makes them want to, uh, want to succeed and want to work there. So we have three finalists in this category, Alamo College District, RSM, and West Monroe Partners. So the winning client in this category, I think, faced a, a challenge that many of us face, which is how do we engage and how do we transform the approach so that uh, talent activities are truly embedded in the culture? Um, you know, they recognized uh, early on by, by, by con conducting focus groups and talking to, to managers that um, there was a need for more transparency in the overall process, and engagement had to be at the core uh, of what they do. So one of the things that they were starting to hear, which, you know, again, I think many of us hear is that, you know, goals become a, a set it and forget it category rather than something that's continuously done. Um, occasional feedback uh, wasn't tied uh, to goals. Uh, you know, there, were, there was uh, an opportunity for managers to better understand how to communicate uh, performance ratings, you know, um, they were numeric and, and the de definitions were undefined and, and again, people started to feel like it was uh, more of a, a black box of, of information. The information just went in and it was difficult to get feedback on, on outcomes. So they knew they had to shift the culture to do, to do more continuous uh, year-round development. So they focused on some activities that really helped them with this approach. So a couple things that they did. Uh, number one, they moved away from annual review cycles and they went uh, directly to continuous feedback, which I know is an interesting point for many of you. Um, they reimagined their approach to competencies and actually named it something that uh, was, I think, a little bit more relatable called owning my future. Uh, they added real-time feedback into, the, into their entire process, and they started using more common language when it came to performance. So instead of going with meet, succeeds, uh, you know, below average, they used language like game changer and, and doing great and just made it a little bit more relatable. They also added social feedback uh, as an easy way for people to just request feedback on, on their own performance from their peers. Uh, and they also created talent development meetings where they actually brought in a career advisor so somebody could come in and really help uh, somebody who's trying to move internally and trying to grow, uh, get feedback on uh, what they're doing, how, you know, where the gaps are, and, and how they can take those next steps to, to get to where they needed to, to get to. Um, and, and I think the most important thing that they did is they asked for feedback. You know, this is, one, this is a scenario where at least three times a year they're asking their employees, are these conversations taking place? Do you feel engaged? Do you feel like uh, you're in, we're invested in your career? And the results that they've had have been really staggering. So 95% of their respondents that they ask, they, they're, they're confirming, yes, we're, I'm having ongoing talent conversations. 90% are actively updating their goals uh, overall. And uh, they're seeing very, very high rates of completion on their tasks, over 90% across their 10,000 employees. Uh, and again, the feedback has just been tremendous from, from their employees, their managers, uh, and it's really helping to transform their business. So with that, I'd like to congratulate the winner, RSM. A lot of hands to shake. Whoop, you okay? Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, we're going to take a group photo. All right, we're going to go right up here. We're going to go wide angle on this one. Ah. Today is a big day for us. Um, at 1 o'clock today, we ended our first year of no year-end process, no employee self-assessment, no roundtables. Um, and hopefully everyone got it all submitted on time, you know, to, to, to get a final descriptor in there and a rating. 
Uh, as Katie said this morning, five years ago, uh, we had a pretty broken process. It was pretty static. Our employees were telling us it wasn't working for them. And we set on this journey to uh, transform our whole talent development uh, or, or talent management processes and focus on continuous development. So it's been very methodical along the way, and we couldn't have done it without the partnership of our, our Cornerstone team, which we value so much. So uh, I want to thank uh, our CSMs. We actually have had two over our time. Robin Windsor can't be here today. Uh, Greg Churchman is our, our newest CSM, our sales executive, uh, Jana Tupper. We bring this team in, and they have come to understand our strategy, our objectives, and, and what we want to accomplish, and have truly been great partners for us. Uh, and I, I'd have to say, without this awesome team that we have here as well, that I'm so proud to work with every day, this wouldn't be possible, because they push the envelope every day on what we can do in our organization. So uh, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, on to our next category. Transformational HR and talent strategy. So the purpose of this award uh, is to recognize organizations that are really creating a more value and business-driven HR function. Uh, and these are organizations that are really transforming their approach to, to, to integrated talent management and, and taking it to the next level. So we have three finalists in this category, Commvault Systems, Sodexo, and Wellmark. So the winner in this category, uh, they really set out to provide a better answer to the question I think many of us ask ourselves every day, which is what can I specifically do to grow my career? Uh, you know, they saw that managers are often faced with this question from employees, and it's not always the, a, a, a question that's easy to answer. And so what they wanted to do is just create a more scalable solution to empower both employees and managers uh, to, to, better, to be better equipped to answer that question. So what they did is they created a very easy job assessment profile. So what this does is within minutes, it lets you to, number one, assess uh, the proficiency of somebody in a role. It helps them benchmark somebody who may be in a junior position, assess themselves against somebody that uh, is in a more senior role, uh, so that they can figure out what are the gaps that I need to, to address. Uh, and it also helped them uh, address the skills for, needed for other roles, so not just the linear path that they may have in the role that they're in, but how can they move internally within the organization. And really, how, the thing that's really interesting is they, they took uh, uh, the next step, which is make it easy for somebody to create a personalized development plan, to be able to close those gaps, and do all of this within minutes. And when I say minutes, just to define what that means, so a manager within 20 minutes uh, can create something like this for their employees. And the employee, it only takes them of merely a few minutes to complete. So again, barriers to entry, very, very low. Uh, they helped to, to encourage regular conversations around this process. And what they were able to do is take all that information from all their employees and roll it up into a development heat map uh, that their managers can look at to identify risks within the organization, provide visibility into divisions by, by, uh, by business unit, uh, by geography, uh, and again, really provides visibility uh, across the business at scale, which is great. Um, and they were recently recognized for, for all their approaches uh, with a Learning and Practice Innovation Award by Chief Learning Officer Magazine. So again, I want to congratulate the winner, Commvault Systems. Joe, yeah. thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, we're going to take a picture. I almost forgot. Right up here. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Cornerstone. Thanks all the Cornerstone folks that make it a reality. Uh, one of our Commvault values is power your passion. And I will say my passion is learning, it's development, it's talent management, and it's HR. So it's, it's really a great opportunity to be able to work in this space and, and innovate in this space for that, for that matter. Uh, I also want to thank uh, TriBridge now DXC, <laughs> did I say that right? <laughs> and uh, because they help make the vision a reality. So there are partners behind the scenes and really do help us uh, implement and make the reality of, of whatever we're thinking. So thank you very much, appreciate it. Congratulations, thank you. All right, on to our next category. Advancement in reinventing work. 
So the purpose of this award is to recognize organizations that are really finding new ways to, to, to reimagine how you uh, develop your people. And they're really just trying to inspire and engage their, their workforce to, to really do great things. And they're capitalizing on the knowledge that they have internally to make this happen. So we have three finalists in this category, Commonwealth of Kentucky Personnel Cabinet, Site One Landscape Supply, and Total System Services. So the winner in this category, they really took the challenge of employee engagement and high turnover, because in their business, they, turnover is an issue. And they said, how can we really uh, address this in a new way? And so while they were having problems internally uh, with turnover, they also were starting to see that impact their customers uh, when they started recognizing that this turnover really had a, a negative impact to, to the net promoter score. Um, so one of the things that they did is they rolled out a new recognition program which is called Customers First. And FIRST is a, uh, an acronym for Friendly, Inquire, Respect, Solve, and Thank. And so they used that new approach to tie to their core competency, which is something I love. It's called being customer obsessed. Because they knew that customer obsession is really the thing that sets them apart in the business that they're in. So one of the ways that they look to achieve this is uh, by using gamification and badging, which is something I know a lot of you are looking to adopt as well. Um, so what they did is they enabled badging within uh, the Cornerstone solution. Uh, they, those badges were able to uh, be made available to, to give to, to, to coworkers, by managers, et cetera. And winners receive not just the badge themselves in the system, but they also get a piece of company swag uh, along with the details of that badge being attached to their employee uh, profile. And that recognition is also shared uh, in reporting to leaders across the business so they know where the talent is. So you know, by doing that, that doesn't only uh, equip them from just a recognition perspective. It also helps them from an internal talent mobility perspective. So they've been able to look across the business and see you know, where are we having people excel, but, but also where are the knowledge gaps within the business? How do we uh, identify candidates for promotion? It's, it's just really equipped them to do just amazing things. So a couple of the results I wanted to share with you. So by, since implementing this new approach, they've seen a 5% reduction in turnover across their four key roles uh, in the company. They've also seen a 30% improvement in their employee engagement data about people feeling that the company is invested in their growth and, and they want to continue to be there and grow. Uh, not just the, the employee benefits, but also the customer benefits. So by taking care of the employees, they were also able to drive an 8% increase in their overall net promoter score uh, with, their, with their customers. And to date, they've had over 1,300 of their employees go in recognized uh, by peers, by leaders, and by their own customers. So again, just a great success story. So I want to recognize the winner, Site One Landscape Supply. So thank you to everyone, to the Academy, who helped us earn this award. Um, it was three years ago that we implemented six of the modules in a 12-month period and have since implemented badging as well as Connect. And so we feel like we've been running the hell out of the system. And a lot of times, you know, we ask a lot of questions of our CSM, of our sales team, um, so that we can provide the best, of course, product and service to our leaders. And you know we have the best support back home with our CEO asking for profiles before he goes out to branches and visits them. So that executive support and sponsorship um, is really you know, something that has been very rewarding for us. And we couldn't have done it without asking a ton of questions. And I know sometimes they don't want to pick up the phone, but we really wanted to be best in practice in our um, industry and Cornerstone has met us every step of the way there. And so if you'd like to hear more tomorrow at 1 p.m., we'll be talking more about yeah. um, <laughs> our badging and everything. So thank you so much. Congratulations again. Congratulations. Yeah, you too. <laughs> All right. So before we move on to today's keynote, I do want to just recognize a few individuals here in the room that have really uh, helped the broader uh, Cornerstone client community. So in 2015, as you heard me talk about uh, before, we've introduced our, our client community expert program. So, so these are 
not Cornerstone employees, but clients that uh, are identified as, as experts in their product areas, and they, they donate their time to be able to participate in communities uh, within the Success Center to answer questions, share tips and tricks, share their own experience and journey. And we have you know, hundreds of, of these clients that are, uh, are there for you. So uh, what I just want to do is if you're a member of the CCE community in the crowd, can you just stand for a minute? Let's give these folks a hand. Thank you very much. You know, these are individuals that take the time out of their day to, again, uh, promote and to, uh, and to help other customers. So we also introduced our Rockstar of the Quarter Award uh, back in 2016. So this is where we go out and we identify uh, one of the members of the community each quarter who are really going above and beyond uh, for, for, for their service of, of the greater client community. Uh, we want to recognize uh, those folks today. We have three of them in attendance here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, share your name. And I'd like you to just come up to the stage. Can Sam Rogers uh, with Snap Synapse. <laughs> Mike Banks with Wayne County Airport. And Tina Pagar with uh, Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Give these folks a round of applause. Congratulations. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks again. So before we move on to the keynote, um, you've heard some really amazing stories today. And so as some of the members mentioned, several of uh, our uh, our participants are presenting uh, in breakout sessions. We've got uh, some great breakout sessions uh, tomorrow. Uh, and so, you know, I, I highly encourage you to, to, to attend. But then also, if you see these folks at the, at the, uh, uh, the party tonight, you know, reach out, ask questions. That's, you know, you heard uh, Chris talk a little bit more about uh, our community and wanting to create more opportunities to network. So I definitely recommend uh, you take advantage of that.